Keith and Kim. Kim and Keith. And we're the Missy Hippie, Hippie Gypsies. Gypsies. This weekend we're in Fairburn, Georgia. For the Georgia Renaissance Festival. Yeah. What a great festival season this has been for us. And we couldn't have been more excited than to get a personal invite from one of the largest and longest running Renaissance festivals in the country. This eight week festival is a gathering of some of the best entertainers, musicians, and craftsmen in the Southern Circuit. Plus, international performances by groups such as Rota Temporis, an Italian medieval bagpipe and drum band. If you're a Renaissance Festival fan, you'll want to check out our other videos as we show you the many festivals, fairs, and gatherings that you can attend and what each offer in their own unique way. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It'll help our channel grow. Plus, we also now offer a Patreon channel, which will be featuring all of our behind the scenes shenanigans along the way to and from these fairs. Now let's go check out some of the many live performances and shows. Just as unique as a Broadway show, you'll see musicians bringing you once-in-a-lifetime opportunities to see live performances in person and up close. My name's Juggalin' Jeff. I've been entertaining for 20 years. I uh, snuck into a Renaissance fair when I first got started. I fell in love with a fairy, and I uh, then started uh, learning about other different fairs and festivals, and I started applying to them. And I've met a fantastic community. There's nothing better than a Renaissance fair family. I'll tell and you that. Juggling is a passion of yours. How long have you been juggling? Uh, since nine o'clock this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 20 years as an entertainer. I got my start in New Orleans as a, a juggling street kid, and when I found Renaissance fairs, I found a captive audience, and I uh, never turned back. I love this audience so much. Where else in the world do you get to go and see a show and then decide how much it's worth after seeing it? In fact, most traveling performers earn the majority of their income from tips, so I encourage you to toss in the tip jar at least a couple bucks. We do uh, uh, 10 months of Renaissance fairs. So I travel all across the country. Every two months we're in a new town, and uh, I love it. I would never want to leave it. I think it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. From bagpipes to folk, grab a beer at one of the many watering holes and put on your dancing shoes. They have music and dance in every corner of this festival. And you will be immersed into the times by these talented performers.
It's not only people you will see perform, but our four-legged friends enjoy entertaining you as well. Plus, there are several wildlife demonstrations. But if it's people you come to see, then people is what you get. And the variety of shows here would require a few days to see them all. No nursing home can contain me. <laughs> And of course, there's jousting, one of our favorite events at any run fair. They offer a full show with plenty of seating and shade trees for those hot Georgia summer days. After the shows, there is plenty of fun to be had here. There are several rides, many food options, and plenty of beer. This is definitely one of the best Renaissance festivals we've been to. It's very well organized. Plenty of seating and it's handicapped accessible. But what makes the fair so great isn't just the entertainment, shops, food, and games. It's the people. People we meet at the fair are amazing. All the costumes, cheering, dancing, and good times to be had by all. That's what makes a rent fair great. I love the rent fair. Believe it or not, festivals and markets like this have been taking place for thousands of years. In fact, the first known domestication of horses occurred around 3700 BCE. And with horses and camels being domesticated, it allowed for traveling longer distances than ever before. It wasn't until recently, in the 18th and 19th centuries, that planes, trains, and automobiles were even invented. So today, these festivals represent not only history or a heritage festival to celebrate, but also individuals traveling, sometimes internationally, to sell their handmade goods and to entertain you. So it's definitely worth it to come check out a Renaissance Fair or Medieval Festival. And I guarantee there's one near you. Check out these international musicians. They traveled all the way from Italy just to play this festival.
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the Ren Fair.